If you want to know how you can make a first person script like this, if I would zoom in, I can see all of my body parts. You're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can easily make a first person camera. And what that does is when you join the game you're immediately locked into first person. You cannot zoom out or zoom in which is what first person means. You're um, in yourself. And then when you look down you can see all of your body parts except your head. So that is really cool and uh, I hope you're excited for this video. If you like the video give it a like. Uh, if you don't like it give it a dislike. Even though I want you to like, I guess. And if you're not uh, subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's start with the tutorial. So it's pretty easy. Actually, you would just want to go to start your player, start your character scripts, and click local script. And I'll just name it first person for now, uh, just so it's easy to uh, recognize. So it's actually a pretty simple script, but you just need to know the basic and I will explain what it does. So first of all, we need to get the player's camera, which is local camera is equals to workspace dot current camera. As you can see, the camera object being used by the local player, which is really cool. Now we need to uh, retrieve the uh, player's surface. So local players is equals to game colon get surface players. And I think as you saw, get service. Let's see, it returns to service with the requested class, creating it uh, if it does not exist. So this is what it does. This is actually pretty new. I really like it. It really helps me explaining things, and it's really clear. So now we need to get the player's character. Or actually, we need to get the local player first. So let's do local player. Is it because the players dot local player? Now as you can see again, the player that the local script is running for. So that's really simple. So now we are going to get the player's character by saying local character is it's the player dot character. A model controlled by the player that contains a humanoid body parts, scripts, and other objects. So that is what a character is. So now local humanoid, we need to get the player's humanoid now. So local humanoid is equals to character dot humanoid. So now uh, we need to do a for loop. So we're going to do for i comma v in pairs, or actually for underscore comma v in pairs. Uh, character colon get children do, and what get children does is return an array containing all of the instances children. So this is an instance which is our model, and we're going to be trying to get everything inside of that by saying colon get children. And Siri shut up so now we need to check if it is a part and uh, excluding the head because you don't want uh, to see the head so if V is a base part so if it is a normal part and uh, V dot name is other than head so we're going to be completely ignoring the head so if that is all the case now we can start to uh, set our uh, local transparency modifiers. What that is, is just the local transparency on your character. So let's just do V, call on get property changed signal, local transparency modifier. It is a really long word, but you just need to write it down. So as you can see, V, call on get property change signal, and then a speech marks local transparency modifier. And we need a function for it, so we're going to do connect and a function, a function like that. So now you made a function, and all we have to type here is v that local transparency mod. As you can see, the term is a multiplier for base bar dot transparency that is only visible to the local client. So the transpar this the local transparency modifier is simply the uh, the transparency level only for you. Local transparency modifier yep, is equal to, and we're going to set it to our normal uh, character, which uh, our character transparency, I mean, V dot transparency. As you can see, it determines how much a part can be seen through the inverse 
of part uh i don't know how to say the opacity opacity i guess but that is it and now you need to copy this line and paste it down here so now we need to make a little change to our script uh, so if you're getting a seat uh, you won't see your body parts so camera colon get camera colon get property changed signal we're going to be change we're going to be checking if the camera subject gets changed by saying colon connect a function and i yep like that so now we will check if the camera subject is on a vehicle seat and if yes we will set your camera to the humanoid because your humanoid controls everything so we can do if camera dot camera subject uh, is a, a vehicle seat then our camera that camera subject is going to immediately be changed to humanoid and I want to see what camera subject does so let's see camera subject the humanoid or base part that is the camera subject so basically the part where the camera will be set to so this is the simple script you just have to make and now you want to go to start your player and you want to go down to let me see it is this one camera max zoom and set it to 0 0.5 so the minimum is 0 0.5 but the maximum is also 0 0.5 and you cannot do 0 because you know 0 0.5 is the minimum uh, you can disable shift lock if you want but this is basically it so if you would click play it's gonna be pretty hard for me to actually get out of the game but as you can see this is my character I can see myself and I can walk and this is me and I cannot zoom out as you can see if I try to zoom out it doesn't work so now I can just walk and walk you know so if I would try to get out of the game which is quite impossible you should have to blur that out so for demonstration purposes I will be setting this back to 128 so I can zoom out and quit the game um, so I just wanted to demonstrate something with the avatar so if I would set the, uh, the animation to standard and I play the game you'll see that it's just, just normal arthro thingies as you can see and I would zoom in I get, this is just normal so now I am just normal arthro just walking around you know as you can see we can jump Woo! as you can see this work and if we zoom in we see our body parts and over here we see our head so this is uh, a little tutorial on how to do this you don't have to do the avatar types it's just demonstration purposes so um, I hope you enjoyed this little video uh, if you did give it a like Subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell to never miss out on any video I publish. And uh, have a nice day. And I'll, all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.